Okay, so I have many USB-C cables and all sorts of different types of USB cables. Uh, and it can be annoying if you get the wrong type of cable for the device that you've got. And uh, I saw this story very recently on Hackaday. USB-C cable tester is compact and affordable. And I had a look through and I thought, yeah, it would definitely be useful for me. Uh, but when I searched Amazon for it, I actually found something which for me is even better. Now this cable tester will test all sorts of different devices. It's made by Tredix. Uh, they haven't sent it to me, I ordered it myself. Uh, it comes with, and I always forget the name of this one, so I'll look it up, USB 3 Micro B. Now this used to come with some Samsung phones and also comes with some external drives. Uh, and it was basically to give more power and more speed to micro USB before USB-C came along. We've also got USB-C, we've also got USB-B, uh, which is really a printer cable, I call it. We've also got power in. You can also use one of these CR2032 three volt little battery cells, and I'm sure it'll last for ages because it's only just turning on LEDs. Uh, there's a power switch, USB 3A, and also USB 2A, another USB-C, so you can test from one end of a USB-C to the other. We also have micro USB, lightning, and also mini USB. So it is a really cool little device. So let's plug some things in and see what happens. So on the back of the unit, you can see that warning again about not connecting to a device, uh, the micro USB connections, the lightning connections, and also type C USB three. So here you can see I've got a lightning cable to USB A plugged in and both of the data lights are on. So I know that it supports data and it supports power as well. It's got shielding as well, which is lit up there. Uh, now, there are some lightning cables that don't support data, and this is a bad thing if you want to copy your photos onto a laptop, but it's a good thing if you want to charge in a public place. So as Bob says on the Hackaday story, how about charging your device in public areas? Can't hack your phone if the cable doesn't have any data cables. So that's definitely a good point, and I'll show you a cable that doesn't have any data. So here you can see only two lights are on, so it's just providing power and no data on this mini USB to USB-A cable. This is an official Xbox One micro to USB-A cable, and it does support data because you can use the controller wired, but it also charges. And here's a micro USB to USB-A cable that only charges. So I can make a USB-C cable that only charges by plugging in this micro USB to USB-C adapter. And as you can see, a lot more lights have lit up, but it's not a data cable. It doesn't like the black one I've got. Let's try a micro USB to lightning connector. Well, they're strange lights to have lit up because it's got data minus and data plus from one side to the other, but I'm sure this powers my phone. Yeah, it turns on my AirPods. A lot of lights are lit up by this USB 3 A to A cable, which came with a little caddy for a hard disk. And you can see I've got it wired in with this USB A to C adapter because you need to create a circuit. So I can't plug in here and here, it just won't light up. So let's plug this one in that came with a Seagate external drive. Yeah, I expected that to be pretty decent. So with USB C cables, this is the thickest one I own and it's 240 watts as you can see on there. And it is proper chunky uh, when compared with a normal USB-C cable, it's very, very different. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So quite a few lights on this one, but there are cables that do more. And I know for a fact that this cable doesn't support DisplayPort. So it's more about fast charging than it is fast data. So this has really good support. And you can see I've drawn on there what looks a bit like a square, just to show me that it's a display cable. So it works as a USB-C monitor cable. Uh, and I use one of these little pen tail pens to write on these cables, they're really handy. And these cables don't light up as much. Uh, this has a little LED display to show how much power it's using. So you can see it's not, it's not actually consuming any power at the moment, but uh, you can see here that not as many things are lit up. It definitely doesn't work as a monitor cable. This one has the most lights illuminated, a 40 gigabit per second USB-C cable. But as you can see, it's super short. Another short one that doesn't work with monitors. So this cable is USB 3.1 Gen 2 specs, which can transfer signals up to 10 gigabits per second. But I don't think it works with USB-C monitors. I'll check that. So if I plug in my USB 10 gigabit per second cable into this phone, 
Let's see what happens. So it starts to wake the monitor. Oh, connection error, your cable may be faulty. I'll just try the other connector just in case. So I can't remember if both of these work with USB-C video. Yeah, connection error. So if I grab this 40 gigabit per second one, then I know that one will work because I've used these before. So it comes up wired projection. I can hit agree and you can see that it's come up on there. And if I slide down on this, this has like a DEX mode on this. Go to desktop mode. There we go. And I've got my magic desktop mode, so I can use this like a tablet. So more functionality on this 40 gigabit per second cable. Obviously really high spec USB cable, but not so much this 10 gigabit per second one. So it'd be great if it showed exactly what spec your USB-C cable was. Uh, but for £15, I'm still really pleased with it. I'll put a link in the description. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.